In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the replacement of the ink tanks of your Epson EcoTank ET2720 printer. Now the first step is to unlock the print head. So just give a copy command and unplug the power cable. Once you unplug it, now we have to open the front screws. So open the front section, there are two screws on the side, so one is on the right hand side and one on the left hand side. So this will open this and now we can lift this section up like this. Now don't lift it too much, don't break this, so there may be a problem if you lift it too much. Now you have to place something so that it stays on the top like this. So I'm just going to place a pen, that's the area we have to work on. So first we will open two screws from there. one and two so move it once you open it in the forward there is a screw here you have to open once you do it you can just lift it you will see this section comes to the side now place it on one side next is to open these two screws so I'm just going to remove this cap so just twist it and take this screw off Same with the other side, twist it and take it out. And now open this screw. Now lift it up. This plate will come off. So here are our eight tanks. Just so this plate also comes out in the bottom you will see after the ink pipes there are four screws we have to unscrew from here so one is there once you unscrew it push it forward and then you can take it out. You will see this screw I am talking about. So it was there. Now just simply check which ink tank is leaking or if the ink tank has any other problem. And if you want to replace the ink tank, you can just do now. For that, just remove it from here. Unplug it. Keep it on the side. So if this one is broken, you have to go for the new one and take your new one and plug it back here. So just put this pipe, make it secure and that's easy. You now to place it back, you can just slide it, it goes in and now you have to place the screw again. So that's the way we can just get the access to the ink tank and we can replace it easily take the screw and just secure the ink tank so place it right in the position where it was to place this cover so it goes underneath the pipes up to the end
and just place it here now place these pipes again one by one so first is here second goes like this and the third goes like this and the fourth goes like this so once you do that we have to place it here in this section so it's tight again so you can just move this plate little bit to get access place this section here so let it go until it settles and locks properly now this section goes on the top so move it little bit and also move this plate adjust it from all the sides now close it from here let's tighten the screws so first we have to tighten this one so it will hold this plate in the position once we do that now plug in this one plug in the one on that end place these pipes back in position lock it from here both sides has to go from under this section now place its plate put a screw on that Now in the front we have to put the screws again so those black screws will go here check if it's closing yes now place these caps here so push it from the one end and then on the other end so twist it and install it yeah it's working so everything is secure now close the front chamber so lift the support and let it go go to the front place those two screws which were on the side so one goes here so tighten it with the screw driver close this section lift push it down so you can fill the new ink in the ink tanks and then you can do the power cleaning and your printer will start working normal so this way we can just replace the ink tanks
and in case your ink tanks are leaking, they are damaged, ink is dried inside, you can just use this method and replace with the new one. Thanks for watching.